Career flexibility is probably the single most underrated aspect of a career that almost nobody pays attention to or talks about. And the reason for this is because if you end up in a career that you don't like, which happens to a lot of people, whether or not you do your research or not, if the career is flexible, you can either pivot into a different subspecialty within that career or pivot into a completely different career relatively easily. And even if you're in a career you do like, flexibility is gonna give you even more opportunity and options. So unless somebody is 100% certain that they wanna go into a career, I tend to recommend people to go into careers that are more flexible. But almost nobody pays attention to flexibility and to be fair, there's almost no content on the internet about it. So in today's video, I'm hoping to fix that problem. And all I ask in return is that you gently tap the like button. So a recent study by Flex Jobs, which is kind of funny because they're studying flexibility, found that job seekers ranked flexibility as the most important thing when they're evaluating a job. And this was ahead of even salary or health insurance. And they say here that there are many reasons millions of people really value work flexibility, such as for the positive impacts on their work-life balance, stress levels, health and family responsibilities, and then they go on to say, fortunately, as the overall job market continues to improve, so do the job prospects for flexible job seekers. Now let's go ahead and quickly define my definition of job flexibility, just so that we're all on the same page here. First and foremost, job flexibility has a lot to do with location and time independence. So there are certain types of careers and industries out there where you can get a job, but you have to live in a certain place, right? So if you work in the oil and gas industry, you're very limited in terms of where you can get a job. A lot of the time you're gonna be out on some sort of like ocean rig or out in the middle of nowhere. So you are very limited in terms of where you can go. Now, of course, if you have a remote job, you can live pretty much anywhere in the world if you want to. And then the second thing here is going to be time independence. So there's not somebody who's constantly breathing down your neck trying to get you to work faster. And then just as important is the ability to easily change careers. So are the skills that you're learning in this career going to make it easy for you to make vertical or horizontal moves? A vertical move would be getting a promotion and moving up within the company. And then a horizontal move would be actually switching into a completely different career. And then something that I like to add in there, it's not for everybody, obviously, but is the career teaching you skills that are gonna help you to start your own business in the future? All right, so let's move on to the first one on the list, which is going to be social media manager. So I'm not gonna go into the statistics too much in this video, but they make $75,000 a year. There is a ton of opportunity out there. You can look in even at the entry level, social media manager, 13,000 results, 28,000 results for content manager, 35,000 results for content marketing, and 52,000 results for social media marketing. And this is all just at the entry level. So it means it's relatively easy for you to land your first entry-level job. So when it comes to location and time independence, I happen to know that there are a ton of remote jobs available for social media managers. And on top of that, even if you want to work in person, there's a lot of jobs all over the country and even all over the world that are available as well. And when it comes to time independence, it doesn't tend to be super demanding. The abilities you learn as a social media marketer are going to make it relatively easy for you to switch into different career paths in the future. And creating content is one of those skills where I've talked about quite a bit on this channel at this point. This is something I learned from Tim Ferriss, which is learn skills where you win even if you lose. So content creation is one of those skills where even if you decide to go a completely different route, the skills that you learned are going to be very valuable and they're very likely going to help you out. On top of that, content creation is a skill that's very scalable. You can make a piece of video content that millions and millions of people can see online. It used to be a thousand years ago, the most people you could possibly talk to is if you maybe got a bunch of people in a stadium, you could talk to a few thousand at most. Now you can make content that reaches millions of people per month like this YouTube channel it reaches over a million people a month so content creation is incredibly scalable and if you decide to start your own business in the future creating content this is definitely going to help you next one on the list I'm going to talk about is online tutor tutors make about $67,000 a year there's 238 job postings when you type in tutor at the entry level now when it comes to location and time independence oftentimes tutors are online and I've seen tutors that live all over the world so it's extremely location independent now now, this is one where you do want to find your own niche, right? There are some niches that a lot of people do, for instance, uh, teaching English as a foreign language, but it is relatively saturated, right? You can still do it. You can still have success with it, but just know that a lot of other people are also doing it. I made over $100 an hour in college by teaching people how to score well on this test called the PCAT, and that's basically the pharmacy school admissions exam. Now, the second part, can you easily change careers in the future? It's not going to be as good. The third part, the ability to start your own business, the ability 
ability to teach people is incredibly valuable. That's a skill that's probably going to help you in many different areas of your life. So I do believe it can help you to start your own business, whether you start a tutoring business or go into something else. Next one on the list is going to be genetic counselor. Genetic counselors make about $100,000 a year. There's about 4,000 job postings on LinkedIn. And I wanted to include this one because there's so many different random little healthcare related careers out there that are really good, but there's just not that many people in them. So there's literally like thousands of these random little healthcare related careers, right? And genetic counselor is one of them. Now, if you look it up, you might be like, oh, there's not that much demand, but that's just because there's like thousands of different ones. So when it comes to location and time independence, I think this one is going to be phenomenal. You can do genetic counseling remotely relatively easily. Can you easily change careers in the future? Medical, it's a little bit more difficult to change careers. But with that being said, it's not impossible. You might have to go back and do a few more years of college or get some sort of cert. And then the ability to start your own business, not quite as good. But like I said, I kind of just wanted to include one in the medical field just so that you had an idea. There's a really great website called explorehealthcareers.org, I believe. Um, that has a bunch of different awesome information on different healthcare careers you can do because there's just so many of them. Next one on the list is going to be data analyst. Data analysts make about $95,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, there's 242,000 results at the entry level. In terms of location and time independence, it's not going to be super challenging once you actually get the data analysis, you know, core skill set down. Uh, it's relatively chill for the most part from what I've heard of my friends who are in data analysis. And in terms of location independence, a lot of the jobs are going to be remote. Can you easily change careers in the future? Absolutely. This is one of the most flexible skill sets that you could possibly learn. Just about every career out there is starting to form their own version of a data analyst. In the healthcare field, for instance, you have pharmacists, informaticists, which are essentially like data analysts who know a little bit about pharmacy as well. You've also got nurse informaticists. So those are essentially nurses who know about data as well. And when it comes to the ability to start your own business, it's a relatively good skill set. A lot of stuff in business is going to be, especially in the future, revolving around analyzing data. I would say there are some other ones on the list that are even better, but data analyst is pretty good. Next one on the list is going to be financial analyst. They make about $92,000 a year and there's 105,000 results on LinkedIn. When it comes to location independence, a lot of remote jobs here as well. Some of them aren't going to be remote though. Some of them do want you to be in the office. And when it comes to time independence, this one's going to be a little more intense than some of the other ones on the list, right? So when it comes to finance related jobs, they do tend to be long hours and relatively high stress. But some people actually prefer that, right? Some people prefer to be challenged every single day. And some people really thrive in that type of environment. Can you easily change careers in the future? I would say this is a relatively flexible career. There are a lot of different jobs you can go into in the finance industry. I would say finance is one of the top industries to go into in the world. Technology is obviously number one, but there is a ton of opportunity in finance as well. And the ability to start your own business in the future, I absolutely think that this one will help you to start your own business. Finance is integral. It's incredibly important when it comes to starting a business. Consultant is going to be the next one on the list. And this one, you make about $90,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, there's 762,000 results for consultants. And if you look up management consultant, which is a particular type of consultant, there's 99,000 results. So there's a lot of different areas you can go into in consulting. A lot of people think of like finance when consulting is mentioned, but there's a lot of other areas you can go into as well. When it comes to location independence, you will probably be doing a lot of traveling, but that isn't necessarily location independence unless you're somebody who wants to travel a lot. But with that being said, since the pandemic, a lot of meetings have gone online. So you probably don't have to do as much traveling as you did before then. When it comes to time independence, it's pretty good, but it is going to be a little bit more pressure, like I said before. You know, you do want to be able to get back to your clients when they ask you a question right away, for instance. And can you easily change careers in the future? Oh my gosh. Consulting is absolutely amazing when it comes to changing careers. Consulting is freaking awesome when it comes to, you know, vertical growth as well as horizontal growth. There's so many different areas you can go into as a consultant. There are many consultants who, you know, years down the line end up being executives in businesses, for instance, or starting their own businesses. Very, very common to see that. I will say this is another one of those careers that can be a little bit better if you're a more competitive A-type personality. And then the ability to start your own business, like I said, really great. Consult is amazing for that. Next one on the list is going to be web designer. Okay, so this is also known as UX UI design. Uh, this one you make about $92,000 a year. 
You type in web design on LinkedIn, you're going to see about 115,000 results. In UX design, you'll see 41,000. UI design, you'll see 82,000. So when it comes to location independence, a lot of the time you can do this one remotely, but there also are many jobs where you can go in and work in an office environment as well. When it comes to time independence, this is more of an artistic endeavor. So they do have to kind of leave you alone a little bit, but at the same time, a lot of these projects are gonna be done in teams. So there are gonna be deadlines as well. So the pace isn't gonna be crazy. You're not gonna be working like 100 hour weeks or anything like that, but you know, it is gonna be one of those things where you do have to get things done because other people are counting on you. Can you easily change careers in the future. Mm, it's okay for that. Um, I would say this is one that I tend to kind of recommend to artistic type people, right? So it's a great job if you're artistic and you want to work as an artist, but it's not the easiest one for you to change careers in the future. But at the same time, it's not impossible either. And then the ability to start your own business. Yes, you can start your own business as a web designer that is relatively common and then starting other businesses that are unrelated. I think it'll help you out somewhat, but it's not going to be one of the most helpful ones on this list. Next one on the list is going to be customer service representative. Now Glassdoor has this one at about $55,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, there are many jobs for this, about 178,000 when you type in customer service representative. Now, is this the most glamorous job ever? Absolutely not, right? You're gonna have to deal with Karens all day, uh, angry people who are frustrated with whatever product your company is doing. But with that being said, one of the main reasons why I love to recommend this one is it is super, super easy for you to get into. You could, like if you set your mind to it right now, if you're unemployed right now, you could probably get a job as a customer service representative within two weeks. And it doesn't matter what background you came from or anything like that. It is super easy to land these types of jobs. Now, with that being said, if you are fortunate enough to be in the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom, AKA you have an accent from a first world English speaking country, that is going to put you at a huge advantage here. This is because a lot of the time customers want to speak with somebody who is fluent in English and you know has their accent. Customers get really frustrated when you know they call customer service and they're speaking with somebody you know, from another country and they can barely understand them. Now, with that being said, I highly recommend you try to get a job in the technology industry. And even more than that, I highly recommend you try to get a job in a B2B type company position. And this is a company that sells products and services to other companies. This is where the big opportunity is gonna be for customer service representatives. So this is one of the remote jobs that you can get into super fast. Like if you're somebody who wants to go traveling right now and have a job that just pays their bills basically, you can get a customer service representative job extremely quickly. So when it comes to location and time independence, location independence is going to be great. Time independence on the other hand, you know, you do have to be on call. A lot of the time you're gonna have to be working during certain business hours. So it's not as good when it comes to that. Can you easily change careers in the future? I would say that customer service is a relatively valuable skill to learn. Not the most valuable skill, but it is relatively valuable, especially if it's customer service in a B2B type of business. And then the ability to start your own business, I do think this one is going to teach you a reasonable amount of skills that are going to transition into starting your own business. Because again, you're working directly with customers, so you probably have a really good idea about what they like, what they don't like, etc. So yeah, I totally get this one. Not everybody wants to do it. Uh, a lot of the time people would really hate doing this type of job. But with that being said, if you need to get a job really quickly, that's pretty much fully remote in many cases, this is a great one to get into. Next one on the list is going to be software developer. Of course, I've talked about this one so many times on the channel, $109,000 a year. On LinkedIn, 321,000 results. When it comes to location independence, very good. Lots of remote jobs are available. When it comes to time independence, also very good. I have many friends who work in software development and a lot of them tell me they only work like two to three hours a day. Like they'll have an assignment, they might get it done right away in the first two to three hours, then the rest of the eight hours they do whatever they want. Now, is this true all the time? No, absolutely not. But is it true quite a bit of the time? Yes. So the ability to easily change careers in the future, yes, tech is amazing because it's so easy to transition into different careers in technology. So it's very easy for you to change careers in the future, either horizontally or vertically. And then the ability to start your own business, absolutely. This is one of the most scalable skills you can learn. You can create a piece of software or a website that millions and millions of people use. A lot of the most successful businesses in the world are software related businesses. So absolutely, this is a super valuable skill for starting your own business. Next one on the list is going to be tech sales. This is another one that I talk about on the channel, one of my absolute favorite careers. 
With this one, you can expect to make about $106,000 a year. You type in technology sales on LinkedIn, there's 141,000 results. You type in business development representative on LinkedIn, there's 55,000 results. Now, when it comes to location independence, lots of tech sales jobs are remote. When it comes to time independence, this is kind of a yes and a no. There is gonna be a little bit of pressure on you in tech sales, right? You have to actually perform. But with that being said, you can kind of do everything you want in your own time. So it's almost a little bit like owning your own business. So when people ask me, you know, how much time do I spend on my business? I do spend quite a bit of time every week on my business. But with that being said, I can do it whenever I feel like it. There's not somebody telling me you have to do this right now. Here's the deadline. I make my own deadlines. I do things when I want to. And it's kind of like that with tech sales in many cases as well. Can you easily change careers in the future? Oh boy, absolutely you can. Nobody knows customers better than the people who sell to them, the people who are actually talking to them on a day-to-day -day basis. So yes, there is a ton of room for both vertical growth as well as horizontal growth in tech sales. And then the ability to start your own business in the future, again, amazing. The skills that they teach you in tech sales, both the prospecting side of things as well as the actual selling side of things are going to help you probably more than any other skill you can learn when it comes to starting your own business in the future. Next one on the list is going to be information technology. With this one, it's about $82,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 312,000 results. And if you type in help desk, you're gonna see 41,000 results. That's typically the first entry level job that you would get in IT. So when it comes to location independence, tons and tons of remote jobs available in IT. There's also some in-person jobs if you're more of like a hands-on type of person, you like to set things up. When it comes to time independence, oh my goodness one of the most time independent careers out there. Again, I have a lot of friends who work in the technology industry. Many of them work in IT. And I can tell you right now, a lot of them, they're sort of just on standby. They get their jobs done, they do a few tickets for the day, and then they're done after a few hours, right? Then they can do whatever they want with the rest of their day. And again, I'm sure I'm gonna get some triggered comments like, no, I work eight hours a day. Okay, so it's not true in all cases, but in many cases it is. Can you easily change careers in the future? Absolutely. A lot of people, their first job in technology, the technology industry in general, is IT, and then they move around to a bunch of different jobs, like cybersecurity, software development, tech sales, et cetera. And then the ability to start your own business, I would say IT is reasonably good when it comes to the skills it teaches you when it comes to starting your own business. Most businesses these days do require tech skills. There's all kinds of different software you have to learn. There's all kinds of different hardware you have to learn how to use, like this camera, this computer, all these, I probably use like 20, 30 different pieces of software. So learning some basic IT skills is definitely going to help you start a business in the future, especially if you start a business in the technology industry. Next one is going to be one of my absolute favorite careers as well, which is digital marketer. With this one, you can expect to make $84,000 a year. And if you look on LinkedIn, there's 210,000 job postings. Now, when it comes to location and time independence, this might be the best one on the entire list. One thing I hear over and over again when it comes to digital marketing is the fact that it has such good work-life balance. A lot of people were very stressed out in their previous careers. They transitioned to digital marketing and it's just so much better for them. Their job satisfaction is much higher. A lot of people come to me and they want me to help them sort of figure out what the best career for them is. And this is one of those careers that I've noticed over and over again, people just tend to enjoy it. Whether you're introverted or extroverted, analytical or artistic, a lot of different people find verticals within this career that they enjoy. So when it comes to location and time independence, this one is phenomenal. Maybe the best one on the entire list. When it comes to the ability to easily change careers in the future, there's a ton of opportunity for digital marketers out there as well. This is another one of those skill sets that you can transition into all kinds of different roles. You can transition into sales, you can transition into like a product manager. So that's like a vertical transition. There's a lot of different marketing related roles you can get into. There's even like a VP of marketing, you can make over $10 million per year if you get up to that level. And then the ability for you to start your own business, absolutely one of the most valuable skills you could possibly learn when it comes to starting your own business is paid ads. Paid advertising is incredibly valuable. 
I would say when it comes to starting your own business, this is the second most valuable skill you could possibly learn behind tech sales. And if you're interested in digital marketing and you want to learn more about it, me and my business partner, Seth, have helped a ton of different people get into it. You can check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. There's actually an entire playlist on my channel of different people that I interviewed that I've helped to get into digital marketing. So definitely check those out. And if you want to see a specific interview, which is one of my favorites, I'll put that right here.